Now, buddy, the C-130, the plane known as the workhorse of military planes. You know, the U.S. Air Force has pretty much tortured this plane now for a quite a long time, doing so many experiments to it and new things. I mean, you know, they put JATO rockets to the C-130 in order for it to fly in Antarctica. Look at that. Yes. I mean, we have it very nicely animated here, even in the flight simulator. It's quite ridiculous. The JATO rockets, yes, this gave the plane the ability to just take off anywhere. There we go. Looking actually quite, uh, not that great. We're on the shortest runway in the world here in the X-Plane 11. There we go. There's literally no other plane that could have ever taken off from this 400 meter long runway. Yeah, this is what the JTOs would look like in real life in Antarctica. Now, last year on the channel, I did quite some experimenting around with this JTO technology. You know, it's, uh, you know, I, I put it to his like airliners. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Look at that rocket. And I think this technology actually worked quite well. Here we go. We can gain speed as quickly as possible. Look at that. You have never seen an airline or this kind of powerful. Even though that's uh, great. It's not even enough power anyway. Now, following this JATO technology, by the way, this means jet assisted takeoff. I was thinking, well, could you try this for a landing? Kind of reverse engineer it, like literally, you know, put these rockets in a reverse setting so that you could stop your airplane, a jet assisted landing. How about that? And duh, I was actually not the first one who had this brilliant idea of landing a plane with rockets. Of course, the military had thought of that too. In the 1980s, they built a top secret C-130 with proper rocket boosters. Can you see these additions here? Yes, you know, in, in the Iran war of the 80s, the Air Force ran into a bit of a troubling situation in the middle of Tehran of Iran. You know, in the city at the US Embassy, they had a kind of like a hostage situation going on that the US Air Force needed to resolve and they needed a big plane to land in the middle of the city. Actually, to land on a football pitch near the U.S. Embassy. It's crazy. So they needed a plane that would land at a very short distance, but it's still big. Of course, C-130. And so this is why they put literally eight rockets to um, the front side that would face it. And so would put reverse thrust. Proper reverse thrust. And uh, they actually did it only once. This was the first attempt here of using this kind of JATO technology to land. Here we go. Um, and actually, it was the last for a reason. Okay. Right, there we go. Look, look at that landing. Um, yeah, it's, uh, the landing didn't go well. The plane completely crashed, probably because of an incredibly hard landing. Another problem definitely is the heat. I mean, a normal C-130 doesn't really have it on a normal basis. I mean, why should it? Look at that. Boom, there we go. Plane's pretty much on fire, and this hard landing caused the wing here to collapse. Yep, this is a bit too much force. By the way, this was a totally safe crash. Um, everyone on board made it without injury. Pilots mistakenly fire the rockets before the wheels touch down. Ah. The plane loses lift and slams into the top. Boom. Despite the violence of this mishap, no crew members were injured. So that was uh, a bit of a Reiner landing, quite literally. Now, ever since that little incident, which cost a few million dollars, no one's ever really fiddled with this um, Jallo thing. You know, that assisted landing. Until everybody's Worcester Zero One came around with the X Plane 12 Fight Simulator, where here in the Plane Maker, we can add jet assisted takeoff that we just have to put an angle on. So, zero degree would be normal here. For example, in this A330, I've put it in the APU, the rockets. Just go and activate. <laughs> yes. This will give us enough power now to take off on this 500 meter long runway. Come on, please don't disappoint me. Gaining more speed than any A330 ever has. Uh, but this probably still won't work, will it? Yes. Um, not yes. No. Anyway, if you put 180 degrees on it, obviously this will reverse the JTO power definitely work. I mean, planning this little development project, the main question definitely was, well, where would you put a JLo rocket? I mean, maybe in the nose of the plane, somewhere far away from the fuselage. I mean, again, we're dealing with hot fire. I mean, we don't want MD-11 24-7. Something else we could do, like, wing is, like, maybe, like, in the wing tips. Yeah, this will probably suck aerodynamically. I mean, I don't know, building this airliner is probably pretty stupid. I mean, here we go. This is uh, the 737 nose action, and that is some proper reverse thrust. This will definitely help the plane stop here in no time. Yes, we can even take off backwards. That is 
quite genius, honestly. Just take off in any direction you would want. It's, uh, it's gone well. Good project. All right, I mean, we are talking about a 500 meter long runway, but let's come on, let's try landing now. Just relax. Come down. Nothing to worry about. Just another day in the flight simulator, of course. All right, we're a bit fast, so let's go and put the reverse thrust on already. <laughs> yes. I mean, this is one mistake they did in the C-130 for sure. Um... Okay, I did the same. All right, so that proves it. Putting this on in midair is not a good good idea. All right, how about a calm and nice approach here? All right, there we go. Put the reverse thrust on. Let's see how quick this plane stops now. Yes, here we go. That is what I'm exactly talking about. Quite ridiculous. We have to really get the brakes in here. Um, the JTO is kind of so powerful. I mean, you cannot really deactivate it. It kind of just wants to push the plane back. Here we go. I mean, we're not able to see the JTO rocket here in the replay mode, but that was an incredibly quick stop. Check this out. <laughs> yes, that took like three seconds. All right, so it's time for the extreme test. Welcome to Helgeland's airport. The runway that we're on is a proper runway made out of concrete, 200 meters long or something. And I, I, I bet this will definitely work for sure. God damn, I really need to download some scenery. Anyway, come on, let's do this landing now. All right, I've kind of touched down in grass. Come on, let's stop now here on this runway. <laughs> yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, it was a bit of a misplaced landing, that's for sure. But look, we can even push back a little. No problem at all. I mean, yes, I completely touched down in grass. One big problem here, at least in the simulator, I mean, we've got such a strong JATO engine that carries so much fuel that the plane is completely nose heavy, so that it's, it's not easy to land it. But there we go. That was the quickest stop I've ever seen. No problem at all. Oh, uh-oh, that was a bit dumb. All right, this is something you shouldn't do. I active... Oh, oh, that is so powerful. I've literally lost... Ah, that's not gone well at all. Yeah, you shouldn't activate it in midair. <laughs> That's a big danger, honestly. But everybody, it is about time that we make the A330, the butter machine, runway proof. All right, so very short runway. Not at all long enough for this stupid plane. Probably no problem, though. All right, there we go. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> yes. Yes! Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now just don't. Oh, God. All right, this is a bit too far. I'll give, give full power. There we go. Yes! I mean, we can for sure say that we have beat the Matrix. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> that, that, this can now land anywhere it wants. Absolutely fine, successful mission. Yes, thanks to my genius. <laughs> the dream of the Air Force has come true. Uh... Okay, I, um, I've broken the system. So, everybody, thank you so much for watching this, uh, very pointless video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Well, thank you so much to all the people who give me lots of monies, like Mariana, Ragings, Junk in the Trunk, Mike, John O'Brien, Derek, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Kelly Chaos, Ryland Williams, New York, Shadow, Ignuana, and, and Moritz Bohausen.